Hello and welcome to Blockchain Silver, the place where we analyze what in the world is going on in crypto. Today, just for this video, we're going to celebrate October 29th, 1929, the Great Wall Street Crash. It was actually 90 years ago today that the Great Wall Street Crash ended, October 29th, 1929. It, after a long, long run in the 1920s, it began to lose near the end of October. Warning, I'm not a financial advisor. This video is for fun and entertainment purposes only. It is best to do your own due diligence, form your own conclusions, and invest based on your opinion of the market. Cryptocurrency markets are highly speculative and may lose value. Be safe out there. And so today, for just for this video, we're not going to talk about cryptocurrency. I just want to talk about this crash and the significance of it. It was 90 years ago today that it ended. On October 19th, oh no, this is 1987. So these are the largest percentage drops. But as you can see, 1929 here, these were one day drops. And... So the one on the 28th was even larger, but this is about when it ended. It ended sometime around October 29th, and there was an investor that saw this coming. He saw that this had gotten way, way, way overextended, and he shorted the stock, the stock exchange, or the stock, actually the stock market itself, and his name is Jesse Livermore. If you know what a short position is, a short position is when you place a trade that you believe prices are gonna come down. So let's just say you borrow an Amazon stock from your broker for $1,700, you sell it out into the market at $1,695 or whatever, you're betting that that is going to, in the next few weeks, next month, whatever, that it's, going, that it's overvalued and it's gonna come down. Then when it does, say it crashes down to eleven or twelve hundred dollars, then you buy the stock back at eleven or twelve hundred or thirteen hundred, and you you buy the stock back, you pay it back, and then you keep the difference. And so that's what a short position is. And so Jesse Livermore, him, and there was one other large investor. They were the only two that saw this coming, and he places a short position on the New York Stock Exchange. And in about six trading days, he made over a hundred million dollars. Now, remember, this was in 1929, and that was the equivalent of about 1.4 billion dollars in today's money in 2019. So this guy actually became a billionaire. Probably was a millionaire at the time, but he became a billionaire in just six days. And he has a book, I've read it, it's called How to Trade in Stocks. And he says that there's no get rich quick in anything. He had been trading, when this happened, he had about 20 plus years of trading in the market. And But I just think it's amazing that when everybody else was bullish, him and probably just a few others were the only bears that were out there. And they ended up being correct. And so he has a, a trading method. It's called the Livermore Market Method. And Livermore stated that a stock trader's job was to begin buying stocks right at the start of a bull market and hold on until the bull market was over or to begin short selling stocks right at the start of a bear market and hold on until the bear market was over. So he didn't care if the market was going up or going down, all he cared about was just being correct. You can make money in a bull market and you can make money in a bear market. And he was more concerned about just being on the right side of the market. And so his his method here, I've, I bought the book, I've been working on it. I'm trying to apply it to the cryptos. But what he used, he had a so this here, it's, it's six columns. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that would be for U.S. Steel. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Then we got another six. One, two, three, four, five, six. This would be for Bethlehem Steel. Then he, and if you notice, secondary rally, 
Secondary rally, natural rally, natural rally, upward trend, upward trend, downward trend, downward trend, natural reaction, natural reaction, secondary reaction, secondary reaction, secondary rally, secondary rally, then a natural rally with a natural rally. Then he would take the two and he had a key price. So he took U.S. Steel, he took Bethlehem Steel, he took the upward trend amounts, and then he would add them together. And what he was looking for was abnormal price action and reaction. If a stock, according to his book, if a stock was trading at $40 for a while, and then all of a sudden out of nowhere, say it went to maybe 45 and then 50 over a couple of days, then it had a pullback maybe to 42 or $43, but it never ever went back to that $40 or $41. He believed that that was the sign of a brand new bull market, and so he would enter the trade. Then on the tail end of it, if, if something was high at whatever, you know, $100 or, or let's say, you know, the stock market, 385 386 and then all of a sudden had like a flash crash, had something that was abnormal. So say it went up like, you know, 2%, one day 2%, 2%, 2%. It did that for a while, and that's usually what happens near the end of a bull market rally. Once you have that abnormal flash crash, he knew that that was a sign that a bear market was about to begin. And so that's the whole Livermore market method is designed around, around that. And I don't know if there's any investors today that use this method, but it's a really interesting book. It's called How to Trade in Stocks. It's written by him, by Jesse Livermore. He wrote it in 1939 or 1940. And if I didn't say it, that's, of course, that's him right here and his wife. And I think this is one of the last pictures taken of him before he passed away. And so it's a great book. I read it in one weekend, and I kind of mess around with it. And I know it has something to do with price and time, similar to Elliott Wave. And so you can pick it up on Amazon if it's something you're interested in reading in. But I just wanted to upload this video because today is October 29th, 19, I'm sorry, 2019. And it's actually 90 years to the day um, when this finished and when he closed his short position. So I thought that was cool. And so that's it for today. If you liked the video, feel free to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I want to thank you for coming over to Blockchain Silver. And remember to stay safe out there.